very good audience and good listeners. Next, uh, welcome Vincent. Uh, hello, hey guys, my name is uh, Vincent Tano and I'm running for presidency as well. For those that don't uh, particularly know me, hello guys. And, well yeah, um, so you guys are the great sevens and the great eights. And you guys are new, and I guess that's fine, right? And you know, you guys are the next up and running generation that will lead us, SBH, and one, one day you guys are gonna be future leaders. Now, I, Last night, I was sort of in a nostalgic mode because I remember when I was in your grade and you know, I remember, oh, I'm the big boy now, you know, I've got my tie on, button all the way to the top, long pants, right? And I believe the girls perhaps feel the same way too, you know, oh, you got a nice cute tie going on here as well, right? And you're away from that one-piece um, skirt that the junior schools have. And sometimes I like to be a little bit more childish here and there, not in a bad way, right? But Let's not be boring, right? It's not, not very fun. And so I'll tell you guys a little story, perhaps a bit about leadership, but let's bring it on a lighter note, you know? The, my story is about brains and butts. <laughs> I told you I'm not gonna be quite boring today. See, one day, as the leader of the prestigious body, Mr. Brain decided that he would no longer need a butt. I'm sorry. Mr. Butt, you aren't smart, you aren't strong, you're stinky, you know. No one sees you and you're literally, actually full of poop. <laughs> and so, I'm sorry, you know. Mr. Butt, I don't really need you. And so he fired him. And so Mr. Butt had no job and left and went home. And that was okay for the first few hours until lunch came. And when that katsu curry from Canteen 2 can't go out of your system, that becomes a problem. And so, and so the body parts just couldn't work. Uh, it's so stinky, I can't focus, I can't do this, I can't do that. And so the brain had to frantically find, where's the butt, where's the butt, where's the butt? And then, after he found the butt, he apologized profusely, please Mr. Butt, come back, work for us. And finally, Mr. Butt said, okay, I'll fix your problem. And so he comes back and then, only then did the brain realize the true potential of the butt. <laughs> letting out some poop. Hey, think about it. You know, without that, there really is no way to get that stuff out, right? And so, that is the story of a body. But surprisingly, we are also a body. Not a human body, not like this, with arms and legs, but a student body. That's what we are. And it's a pity, a shame, that some people think that you guys, just because you guys are young, are, well, the butts of society. That's sad, and that's really, really untrue. You guys, because we're a part of a large machine, like a well-oiled machine, and we can do so many great things only if we're together and united. I mean, can you imagine if the back wheels of a Ferrari want to go backwards, but then the front wheels of the Ferrari want to go forwards? Yeah, you look rather... Um, you know, not smart, right? It would go nowhere. And so I don't think it matters that you guys are young. And because of that, I don't, I think it's sad that some people think that way. And you shouldn't be looked down upon just because you guys are young. You see, I mean, if you don't believe me, look into the Bible, right? I mean, those who are young should not be looked down upon just because they're young. It's in Timothy, fine. You know, you guys can read it all for yourself. And one day you guys will blossom into the, junior, uh, the senior school leaders of this school, and perhaps later on in life, you'll be the leader of some corporation or some or lead whatever you guys want. And if you guys don't believe me, it's not an overstatement because I was once where you guys were. I was this chubby grade seven kid with a big belly, and then one day I sat down in chapel and I saw these uh, grade twelves come up and talk like the way I'm talking to you guys now. And then and there, I realized, wow, I want to be like that girl. And then from <laughs> Or that guy, or that guy, right? And then I decided to work hard, and I felt inspired. Wow, she, you know, and he spoke so good, and he was really, really entertaining and charismatic. And so I worked hard, and I became like him, and I guess I'm here right now. And I'm telling you that it could work for you guys. See, you guys have a lot of potential. You guys are very diverse in your talents. 
if only there's some way for us to develop that. Ah, see, that's where I come in. Ah, I know, I know what to do. See, so for right now, I propose a, you know, three small changes. Just three for right now. And these, I think, are small, but in the end, they're going to be very impactful, I think, because you know, our student council has been great the past year. You know, we've had more events, better advertising, and behind the scenes, they've got all these fancy new meetings and talking about this, talking about that, meeting with different people. But I believe that there, you know, some holes are missing. I mean, there are some holes, and I'm trying to plug those holes with my next changes. So if you guys are ready, number one would be an easier access to school merchandise. And, you know, have you guys ever had that feeling where you're so excited in soccer carnival and you just want to get out there and you guys want, you just want to play? Or when it's swimming carnival and you guys, oh, I want to swim for my team. And you guys are so pumped up that you don't have time to find that really cool t-shirt we were looking for. Or maybe you did, but it ran out. Or maybe you just wanted to stroll out with your friends. Anyway, you don't have time and you can't find it. And it's a pity because you can't buy it anytime else other than those school-wide events. <coughs> oh, wait, what if we make a real eagle store that's at least more permanent, right? So we could buy it whenever you guys want. You guys have time and lunch, let's go buy some t-shirts. And I think that it's better because <coughs> having a t-shirt that says eagles might seem like a small thing, but we all hopefully we'll wear the same thing. And if I have an eagle shirt and you have an eagle shirt, that sort of means we're on the same team, right? Can you imagine if a, what sport teams do you guys like? If Manchester United or a Barca t-shirt, that would be, uh, that's, that's, that's funny, you know, because we're supposed to be on the same team, why are you wearing a different shirt? But if they all wore the same jersey, now what would that mean something? That would unify you. And that's what we need. We need to be together. I'm sorry, you guys. If you guys like any other sport teams, yeah, it's okay. I don't follow that anyway. And once we get all that going, we could even think about having other merchandise, such as, well, depending on what you guys want. I'm thinking sport bottles, cool bandanas, uh, long sleeve shirts, whatever you guys really want, we can show you cater. And now the second change is that we need to appreciate your talents more. See, again, you guys are a very diverse pool of people. You guys know this, again, you guys know that, you guys love this, and you guys love that. And sometimes the student council is just, well, for lack of a better word, blind to it because we just don't know. And so I encourage you guys to form your own clubs and have fun with it. And it's okay if you, all you guys like to play is checkers or something like that. You guys come together. I mean, I like chess and I go to chess club. That sounds nerdy, but. But it's okay, you know, whatever you guys like, programming, filming, you guys come together and when you do, soon council will surely realize, oh yeah, you know, there's an interest for that and we want to celebrate that and we want to encourage you guys and so surely, um, I believe that student council should come to your club and, and support you guys in any way we see fit. If you guys want to hold a, a checkers event somewhere, sure, I mean, we can organize that if you guys like it. Another thing would be for those that have joined student council events, like you know we've had Chomp, we've had uh, Battle of the Bands, we have Step Up and, th and those kind of events. If you guys happen to participate and we see you doing a great effort or if you guys have won it, you know, we'd like to put yourself, with, I mean we'd like to put you in a Hall of Fame. And that has already happened out there in, junior, in senior school, but it should be more uh, enthusiastically encouraged. We'd like to say thank you to you guys. Thank you for joining our event, and we love you, you know, and we want to show that. Sometimes people just don't know that. And so we appreciate the time that you spend out of your own lunchtime to our events. And so we just want to say thank you. And speaking of um, telling, you, telling what you want, my third change is a better way to tell us what you want, really. For example, what do you not like about the student council? It's okay, I know, it's difficult, right? Sometimes you just don't want to do it. And it's fine, it's completely fine, you know. I can't just expect you guys to give me something when I just shove a mic up your, up your throat. I'll, I'll get to you later, okay? You can ask me a question soon. But that's the whole point. I'd like to make it easier for you guys. You know, I don't want to just shove mics at you. 
let's say we find a suitable social media everyone uses. Then you can just type up what you like. Hey, I like this event, thank you very much. Or, can we do this? Or, I don't like this. Do you mind changing it, etc., etc. Or if you guys are more into the artsy, artsy kind of things, we could put up a, uh, we could put up a whole board for you guys to write on and sticky notes, or perhaps a fantasy suggestion box. If you guys would drop in something there, nice for us, you know, a nice little note, that would be really fine. And the thing is, it would, it would be a lot different than just me shoving up this mic to, you know, whoever's space, right? And so. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm spending way too much time, so I'll conclude. That you guys are still grade seven. You guys are grade eight. You guys know that, right? And yeah, okay, you guys are super smart. Um, and that just means that you guys have a long way to go, and that's fine. I've been there. I mean, all of these guys have been there. And I want to serve you guys because I've been here since K one. That's a long time. That's thirteen years here in this brick enclosed school. And I'd like a way, you know, to say thank you. We write a big thank you note and send it and mail it to SPL kind of thing. And I haven't really found a good way to do it. Nothing that satisfies my craving to give back to the school. And I think this is my chance. And I'll tell you guys another secret. See, you guys are actually the bosses, and we're actually the leaders. Look, you guys are the students, and we're the student council. We are no student. What does that make us to the council? We're just a, uh, we're just a council. What do you do? I don't know. We don't have any purpose. Whatever. And so, without you guys, we don't really amount to much. And so, I'd like you guys to do me a little favor. See when tomorrow comes. You know, you guys might want to circle my face. And, you know, put me in the box. Okay. And yeah, I'll make sure that you guys feel loved. Right? And if you vote for me, we'll make sure that whatever you guys want, to the best of my ability, all right, guys, don't, right? I'll, I'll make it happen. Don't, don't, don't ask for a paintball war across the school. That's not going to happen. I'm sorry. I'm putting it out there, right? But vote for me, and we'll see that to the best of my ability, we'll make what you guys want happen. Because again, the next year will also be your year. It's yours, right? And so I'd like to end by saying, Hey, my name is Jonathan Vincent Tango, and I am running for presidency. Uh, ciao, guys. Thank you.